I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given in each one of our lives. For today's morning meditation, let's open our Bibles to Hebrew chapter 3 verse 4. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. If we read the other translation, it says, Every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Yes, Lord, whatever is built, whatever benefits, whatever things happen in our lives, it's not because of God, it's because of you. Help us to understand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So when we read this word, my friend, so many times as being human, we, we feel proud of our success. When we consider the buildings around us, we normally understand that each one was built through planning and hard work of a skilled art architect or engineer. Right? This concept also serves as for all creations in life, from relations we build to the dreams we pursue, to the futures we envision. It's human nature to want to claim that we are owners and authors over the things we construct in our lives. But this Bible verse is teaching us today to change our perspective. A reminder that while people may be the architects of physical buildings, it is still God who is the ultimate creator. He is not just a creator of physical structures, but of everything in the universe, even our life, our souls, and our, our capacity to create. Whether you believe it or not, all the wonders we see around us and marvels we often take for granted are God's hands work, right? This humble recognition offers us a great understanding of our own abilities and limitations. It encourages us to rethink our responsibility and place in the great design of everything. As we move through your this verse, we are not only builders in our own right, but we are using the tools and talents that God has given us. Praise the Lord. When we see Moses, Moses' life, Moses was long considered to be the people's greatest prophet chosen by God to be the principal administrator of his chosen nation, Israel. He was called to lead God's people out from slavery in Egypt and to be their mouthpiece as he built up the house of Israel into the great nation that entered and conquered the promised land of Canaan as directed by God, right? Moses was the human tool who was used by God to build up his house, the house of Israel and the tabernacle of the Lord. The bottom line is that God himself is a great builder of all and makers of all things. <clears throat> God is the one who took Israel by the hand and gently led them out of Egypt to carry out his plans and purposes. God is a great enabler who equips his servants to carry out his will and to perform his own good pleasure. Moses may have been the servant who was chosen to begin building up the house of Israel, but God alone is the true builder and maker. Moses obeyed all that the Lord has said and became God's mouthpiece to his people Israel. But like Abraham and all those that trust in the word of God, the builders and the makers is God alone. And Jesus Christ being the exact image and representation of the visible God through whom the world was made is encountered for more worthy that Moses for Christ is the brightness of God's glory and appointed son of immortal, invisible, most high God. Amen. Moses may have been the faithful servant whom God used to construct the tabernacle. 
He was the one God used to build up the house of Israel into a great nation and to administer the hundreds of legal household laws that the Lord gave to his people. But it was God who set up the plans. He gave his servant the blueprint for God is the designer and builder of all. Each and everything used to build the tabernacle was designed by God. Christ was God incarnate who came to earth as a man so that he himself could build his church against which the gates of hell will not prevail. Moses may have been the servant chosen to build the literal house of Israel, but the spiritual house of God, of which all believers are living stones, is being built by Christ day by day. Amen. He alone is a foundation stone, and yet he was despised and rejected by the human builders. Peter reminds us that we are living stones being built up into a spiritual house and a holy priesthood in order to offer up spiritual sacrifices to the Lord God Almighty. And Paul wrote instructions to Timothy that we will know how Christians ought to conduct themselves in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the support of truth. Today morning, my friends, how blessed we are to be members of the body of Christ living stones that are being built up into a spiritual house whose builder and maker is God. Remember this, our Lord is involved not only in the majesty of creation but also in the wonderful events of our lives. He shapes our character, He is molding our souls and He is guiding hands lead us through the trials and victories of our journey in this world. So we need to acknowledge this as we experience a deep sense of gratitude and a new motivation to serve Him through the talent He has given us. So ultimately God as the builder of everything to trust in His divine blueprint for our lives and to humbly participate in His grand design. May this Bible was inspire us to view our daily tasks, our personal goals and even our life struggles as bricks and mortar in the house that God is building in and through you. Let us be steadfast in our faith knowing that our master builder uses all of his great purpose in our lives. I pray let Lord lead us And we trust in Him and let the Holy Spirit help us to not be proud of our talent, our success, but always be thankful to God that He is the Creator and He built everything in each one of us, in each one of our lives. So let the Holy Spirit help us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord, for this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you that by grace we have been made a child of God and am being built up by you into a spiritual house. Thank you that our life is hid with Christ in God and that we have the indwelling Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. We pray that we may live a life that is honoring to you and always trust on you, praise you, thank you for all the success we are facing in our lives. It's only because of you, Lord. Please help us, guide us, lead us forward. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Our Jesus is coming very soon. Maranatha.